Hi, welcome to another episode of BizJet TV. My name is Fabrizio Poli, I'm your host, and today we're going to be focusing on electric aircraft, uh, the developments in the market, um, you know, as a result of, you know, what's been happening around the world with the lockdown, a lot of airlines going bust and that. Uh, but, you know, these electric aircraft have been developed anyway, and I think, you know, we're going to see a lot of uh, more of this be developed because a lot of people are going to be moving away from airline travel and into private travel private jet travel but also private aviation travel where you also can use propeller aircraft so this is what we're going to be talking about in this episode touching on a few projects show you what's happening in the market show you these airplanes what they're doing and i'd also like to hear your take if you haven't subscribed to budget tv I encourage you to subscribe to this channel all about business aviation and share these videos we want to get the word out that the business aviation is here to help you build your business it's very much the airplane is a business tool and that's really what we're here for is to educate you and everybody else that business aviation is a great business tool of course subscribe give us a thumbs up also comment below so let's get straight into today's episode all about the news about electric aircraft off we go <laughs> So today we're going to be talking about electric aircraft and the recent developments and new news on what's going on in the electric aircraft space, which I think is really going to revolutionize uh, the way we fly. Um, I've covered this before, but let's look at the uh, three projects which I'd like to focus on today. The first one is Volt Aero Casio. This is a French project. Project. What they've done is they've been inspired by the Cessna 337 push-pull which you may have seen in some of the Vietnam movies because this they used to use this airplane in Vietnam to fly over and spot the Viet Cong. Uh, it's called push pull because it's got one propeller at the front and one at the back. Um, so instead of having the engines on the wings, uh, it's one front, one behind. And it's similar to what uh, Volt Aero has done with their aircraft. They're looking at developing a four, six and 10 seater. Uh, this is of course a, um, uh, uh, this has a hybrid engine, uh, electric and uh, um, you know, usual fuel for have gas for, for, for airplanes. Uh, 920 nautical mile range, 200 knots, a takeoff and landing distance required about 1800 feet or 600 meters, uh, built out of all composite materials. This is coming to certification soon. Uh, very interesting aircraft. I think it's going to do well. Um, the next project I'd like to look at is Cessna Caravan have now put an electric engine on their aircraft, which is uh, uh, done as, in association with Magnix. And they flew this Cessna Caravan the other day. Cessna Caravan has been very, very popular aircraft. Carries 10 to 12 people and cargo, very popular in Africa, up in Canada and other places around the world where you need to land in the outback. Um, land on grass strips, land on in a field, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's very, very uh, versatile aircraft under that uh, point of view. And of course now putting an electric engine on it brings operating costs right down. So they're experimenting that with right now. So far the range is about 100 nautical miles. You know, as they improve on the battery, I'm sure they can get this range up to a lot more than 100 miles. Uh, another project uh, similar is um, uh, Harbour Air over in Canada. What they did is they took a de Havilland DHC2 Beaver and they put an electric engine on there and, uh, and they flew it and uh, experimenting with that too, which is interesting. So uh, while Volta Aero Casio is a brand new airplane from scratch, here we see this Cessna Caravan and the uh, de Havilland DHC2 Beaver. Uh, they've taken two existing aircraft and they've changed the engine into an electric engine, but all electric. And they're experimenting and doing some test flights on this. Another company which is interesting to look at is By Aerospace. They've been developing the E-Flyer. This is a trainer. This is uh, purely uh, for flight schools, for people that are learning to fly. It's a great little airplane. Uh, they've got the endurance up to about three hours. Uh, the average training flight is about an hour to an hour and a half. So it's a great airplane to learn to fly in. And of course, this is going to bring the cost of training right down. Um, and as we see, you know, the electric aircraft coming into training schools uh, is going to bring the cost of becoming a pilot right down because fuel has obviously uh, always been one of the major costs of being able to, you know, um, uh, rent an airplane. That's why when I learned to fly, I went all the way out to Texas. Uh, back in 1986 when I learned to fly, I was playing $29 an hour for a Cessna 150. Um, and that's because fuel is really cheap in Texas. So I really brought the cost down of my flight training. 
Um, so, you know, once, you know, we see more and more flight schools use electric aircraft and not only the flight schools, I think this whole COVID-19 thing is going to be, uh, well, is bringing a massive disruption to air travel. Uh, a lot of people, you know, the ones that have the money will transit into flying private jets. Uh, not everybody's going to have the money to fly on a private jet, but this is where I think these electric aircraft are going to carve themselves a nice niche in the market for the short hops, the so two to four, 500 nautical mile hops. You know, the Birmingham to to uh, in the UK up to Edinburgh or, you know, flights like from Dallas to Houston, uh, you know, those, those short hops, LA to San Diego, um, you know, these single engine electric aircraft um, or two engine electric aircraft certainly um, be, uh, be, be a good one to use in those kind of markets. It'll bring the price down, it will open up the market to people that don't have as much money as the ultra high net worth individuals. So there'll be more and more people flying on these type of aircraft. So there is a market for it as well as, you know, the electrical vertical takeoff and landing. Another project which um, you may want to look at is Aviation Alice, which is an interesting one developed in Israel. You can click on the link above to have a look at that video. So let's get the conversation going. I mean, uh, post below your comments. I'd like to hear what you think about development of these electric aircraft. Is this the future? What do you think? What the challenges are? Um, or maybe you don't like the whole concept of electric aircraft. So just let us know below. Also give us a thumbs up, share this video. We want to get the word out there about uh, BizJet TV. You know, let people know that business aviation is here to help you grow your business exponentially, um, give you that quantum leap, which a lot of people are looking for. Um, and this is why we created BizJet TV. That's the purpose of this channel. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to BizJet TV, I encourage you to subscribe. And that's all from Fabrizio Pauli on BizJet TV. And I'll see you on the next one.